Right. And this is Johnny and I. Right, I'm going to start again. Um, so, right, take three, believe it or not. I thought this would be a really short one. Right, okay then, take three. Um, hello, Conquest of Doers. Um, welcome to Helen Sorsen in rural Sweden. Um, I did a blog earlier today where I was talking about the new um, portal I was building for writers etc to receive payment in uh, cryptocurrencies etc but also to build their audience and get around the hugely monopolistic very tightly held traffic and revenue flows on the legacy server based model web so web 3 um, and uh, I was talking about coin uh, payments and coin wallets which is a web 3 distributed web uh, wallet app um, so if I click here on my wallet uh, you can see here there are 1200 or more currencies here now where I can receive um, and send and convert to other uh, currencies um, and uh, so anybody that um, comes on the uh, the website um, Conquest of Doe website or this blog uh, will be able to um, there we go if we open that there add one of these payment things so uh, uh, and pay with any of those 1200 or so cryptocurrencies and then if you own the store you can convert those into another currency in my case the plan is to convert it to Bitcoin and then send the Bitcoin to Volterra and hold it as and trade gold and use um, uh, gold into Bitcoin Bitcoin into fiat uh, going along now this is my novel conquest of dough which I'd dearly love to sort of sit down and finish off um, and so I'm trying to sell some advanced copies at uh, half price I plan to sell the novel for $20 uh, which will be printed to order um, basically with order fulfillment going directly to the reader um, and charging $20 for, for, for the book that way um, but 50% off um, and $10 uh, you can book an advanced coffee or you can support uh, the, the, the blog by um, opening a Volturo account and, and, and uh, you know trading gold, stacking gold yourself um, or indeed for putting a uh, uh, coin payments card and using the platform uh, here so there are two affiliate links there which I've put on the climate uh, on the Congress of Doe uh, website um, so that's uh, that's that um, and it worked really very well um, and uh, if I just show you how th this here was the um, conversion so in that long list of um, currencies here uh, I put some ETH Ethereum in the Ethereum wallet, which is a long way down here, it takes ages to scroll down. If you go too quickly, um, it's got to actually reload from the torrents. Um, but you can see they're all in here uh, Satoshi's Vision, playing on Bitcoin, Bitcoin Gold. Uh, you know, the, the, they're all in here, and you keep going down, and you get to the eth various Ethereums. Um, Here's Dash there, look, Decred there. Um, it keeps going. So Ethereum Classic, uh, the Ethereum Gold Token, I'm not sure, I'll have to look at that. But here's Ethereum. Um, uh, obviously I've transferred that out now, uh, but um, you get an option to convert. So you, you, uh, you click on there, uh, Deposit, Receive, Send, Withdraw, uh, uh, and, and you also have the opportunity to, to convert when, when there's actually a balance in there, uh, which is what I did. And um, 
then it has to go through the confirmations on the Ethereum blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain, uh, and then uh, I sent it directly to Volturo, and uh, if I get it in here, um, what have we got here, history, you can see then it plopped in here, uh, that, that was the Bitcoin, and I traded the Bitcoin for uh, that there, now, here we are, deposit withdrawals, so you, you have a sheet, you can generate as many addresses as you like, but, but um, that's the public Bitcoin address for Volturo here, uh, and you can also deposit with altcoins, so the uh, altcoin address from Shapeshift you can keep depositing to your account, etc. Um, so that's the deposit there that was confirmed, which came, as I say, from uh, uh, coin payments, coin wallets. Um, and uh, there are very, very good reasons to be stacking gold and silver at the moment. Mike Maloney's secret hidden, uh, hidden secrets of money is well worth looking at. Um, Steven Zarlinga's hidden secrets, uh, uh, um, the lost science of money is very much worth uh, reading and also a book of similar title by uh, uh, Demir uh, at the end of the 18th century, end of the 19th century rather. Um, the point is that um, at the moment with the everything bubble and uh, all of the geopolitical stuff going on, the great gas wars, the uh, political intrigues around that in the Leviathan oil field, um, uh, which is off the coast of uh, uh, Israel, off the coast of uh, Gaza, off the coast of uh, uh, Lebanon, uh, off the coast of Egypt. There's another another field over there. The tensions between the Qataris and their gas and pipelines through Syria and the Golan Heights and that's the Murdoch company that's got drilling rights up there. Um, there there's a whole... Uh, Ukraine and pipelines, Nord Stream, Russia, China, gas pipelines across Myanmar. Um, that it, it, it is absolutely endless the geopolitical stuff with this. Um, and then it's all based around then as well, the special drawing rights, the international banker settlements. There's a whole uh, ton of tensions going on none of which are in the headlines. This is all the unspoken stuff. Um, uh, <coughs> and um, I don't think there's been a better time for, for, for many years to actually be in cryptocurrencies and be in gold and silver and be able to sort of, you know, switch between the two. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of action in all those spaces. Um, my interest in crypto land is more to do with smart contracts and uh, facilitating um, uh, trustless uh, uh, exchanges, you know, i.e. getting rid of the intermediation, uh, which banks say they do. Um, I'm not sure indeed they do do, but they actually create the money by selling your credit to their own benefit and not your own, really. Um, so that's the side of cryptos, um, the disintermediation side of cryptos is very, very powerful, um, and, uh, cryptos backed by gold this way is a very powerful combination, and if you get into your monetary history and have a look at it, uh, it makes a lot of sense. I, the last time I recommended with some, um, uh, referral codes was uh, on Ethereum back in 2016 um, and uh, uh, I'll just show you here um, where are we? It's, uh, I put in here order because it says order in the title um, let me get the date of the blog I did on that uh, Ethereum present or there we are March 2016 so it's nearly three years ago um, if you've done what I did then 
yeah. and put your. I I I, I bought a four hundred dollar mining contract, which uh, basically earned fifty thousand um, dollars, and uh, it had a a code, um, uh, and anyone that sort of did that would have done very nicely out of it. I assume they got out the top of the market. Um, even now, though, uh, they still would have done very well. Um, uh, anyway, I mean, you can read about that in the blog and see what it is. I mean, it's. It, it, um, I I felt Ethereum entered a, bu a, a bubble once it got to twenty dollars, uh, and and so you know we, we we did well with our investment on that. But um, basically, I didn't sit in for the whole run because uh, I. I do think cryptocurrencies are overvalued even now, that's my own personal view. Um, and uh, I think the values will get back to where they were when the use cases come in. Well, this is the thing about use cases, is that um, this coin payments, uh, giving functionality for e-commerce as it does now, you can use this along with Shopify in the server-based web, as well as using it um, uh, with uh, um, just when I'm on it here, uh, uh, Open Bazaar, um, Open Bazaar. I wonder if they have uh, this functionality. I haven't looked at Open Bazaar for a while, but it's kind of like the. Uh, um, again, I played with this a lot a few years back, um, uh, but it's basically uh, Web three eBay. Um, I'm going to have a look at that afterwards. Um, but with Open Bazaar and um, Coin Wallet, um, you're really onto something big, um, and uh, um, it, they're very, very exciting times for the um, distributed distributed applications on top of the Web3, which is the international um, planet. Uh, interplanetary uh, file system which is um, uh, there's another one called Swark, Swarm and there's uh, another one called Zero Net uh, but they're, they're basically um, really powerful distributed computers that sit on top of the mining operations or the network of computers talking to each other in different ways um, and uh, um, to be able to uh, be in cryptocurrencies and in gold and silver coming down the pipe uh, is pretty much as much um, financial security on offer as there has ever been. And so it's, it's, it's beginning to fulfill a potential um, which uh, central banks don't like very much, private commercial banks don't like very much, but for uh, people in commerce, for consumers, and for small to medium enterprises, and for entrepreneurs like myself, it's it, it's absolutely fantastic because everyone really can be their own bank, um, and uh, uh, what's not to like about that, frankly? Um, so uh, you know, we can't trust the current sort of financial oligarchy and. Um, uh, that's been proven over and over and over again um, and there is an alternative to that now and here it is in front of your eyes this video is sort of demonstrating that there is this alternative so do fill your boots and and um, I'd be most grateful if you want to buy an advanced copy of the novel um, and uh, you know click on the affiliate links um, I have got a t-shirt site as well which is mentioned in the blog um, and the thing about that is that um, that's in server-based land, and it's it, 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 it's uh, that's in fiat currencies and all the rest of it. Um, but like I say, take a look at the T-shirts. I, I think they're rather amusing. Uh, but I would say that wouldn't I, because I designed them. Um, so let's just end on that. You can actually get a T-shirt with the uh, Conquest of Doe logo on the front as well. Let me just show you that. Just uh, here it is. Here. Um, did I put a link to it? No, I didn't. Uh, let's just have a look. 
reminds me I must do that. So anyway, uh, buh, buh, buh. <coughs> History and just print two words. Leave it, would you? Uh, there you go. So this is the website, uh, Feliso Tees, and uh, here they all are. Um, that's a funny one. That's called Panama Wash, uh, which uh, self-explanatory. And then here's the Conquest of Doe one here. Look, there you go, um, Conquest of Doe T-shirt. Um, and then there are other various uh, funny ones. I only know one thing, and that is, I know nothing, Socrates. Could be Emmanuel from Forty Towers, couldn't it? I know nothing. Anyway, um, that's it on this one. I'm absolutely stoked about Voltoro and about um, uh, the coin payments, coin wallets uh, set up. Um, so go ahead, dive in and um, uh, fill your boots and, and do yourself a big favour and me whilst you're at it. Um, happy days. Happy days indeed.